All right, y'all, welcome back, YouTube. Welcome to another video. Starting your boy, True, all right? I get asked questions all the time about where to start or how to start with your boxing journey. So in this video, I'm giving y'all my five best tips, all right, my five most helpful tips to help start your journey out for anybody who's starting out in boxing, all right? This is for all my beginners or people who's just on the edge, don't know if they really want to do it or not or where to start or how to start, all right? So y'all be sure to check out all five tips and I hope they are just as helpful for you as they was for me, all right? Let me pop my shit. I done came up, let me talk my shit. Red bottom shoes, really watch on wrist. Don't wear skinny jeans, cause the Glock won't fit. And I don't hang around many, cause these niggas ain't legit. And I was taught to keep it real ever since I was legit. I always stayed down, now I'm about to be rich. So if you don't like me, then you can kiss my grits. The hell that means. So the first tip that I got to give you is coaching, all right? Coaching is very, very, very important when you're trying to start your boxing journey. In my opinion, it's probably the most important thing that you need to think about before you actually start, okay? Um, you want to make sure that you have a boxing coach if you're into boxing and not necessarily a kickboxing coach because what that's going to do is take away from the art and the skill that you need to be honing in, okay? You're not throwing no kicks while you're in no ring, so you don't need to be training with a kickboxing coach. Find you a boxing coach, preferably somebody who has a little bit of experience or at least used to working with beginners and uh, have a little bit of patience because you've got to have that, all right? Make sure you have somebody who knows you or wants to understand you, all right? Wants to understand you for who you are, understand your weaknesses, and then also know how to bring those weaknesses and make those strengths, all right? A lot of boxers fail because they picked the wrong coach or they got somebody that they really had that was on their side and really can teach them, and then they end up going um, finding somebody else because of you know popularity reasons or whatever other reasons that they may have. So once you find a great coach, somebody who's trying to teach you, which is very important, not somebody who's just holding the pads, but somebody who's actually trying to teach you what you're trying to do, showing you defensive moves, showing you offensive moves, and not just showing you, but also telling you why they work, all right? So make sure that you take their part very very serious that's the number one thing that i can give you the number one tip i have for you find a great coach and make sure you stick with that great coach all right all right y'all so for tip number two it's all about the mental all right so most people think with this sport it's all about physical being the strongest being the fastest and yes they do play a part and yes they do help you um when you're trying to be a great boxer but the part that most people forget about is the mental, all right? Most boxing happens between the ears. Happens right between the ears, all right? You wanna make sure that you are mentally strong. How do you know if you're mentally strong? Well, do you give up easy? Are you gonna give up easy when it get time to run them sprints? Or are you gonna give up easy when it comes to some hard sparring? All right, you wanna make sure you are mentally tough, all right? Cause it's gonna, it's gonna come times in that ring, it's not gonna always go your way. It's gonna come times in training, it's not gonna always go your way gonna come times in training where it's gonna be too much or you're gonna feel like it's too much and too tough and you don't want to give up but you gotta be mentally strong the reason I love boxing so much because this applies not only to this sport but also to life all right so make sure y'all take this part serious as well hone in check yourself am I mentally strong can I get mentally stronger all right am I ready for what's about to happen when it comes to this boxing and I'm ready to put in the work that I need to to be a great boxer if you have those answer and your answer is yes then go ahead and get started. If not, work on it, all right? Take your time, work on it, and really think about what you need to do to become either mentally strong and help yourself become a better boss, all right? Remember, everything happens between the ears first. Remember that. So for tip number three, challenge yourself, all right? Boxing is a tough sport, so when it comes to boxing, you're going to deal with a lot of different pains, a lot of different headaches, uh, some tough sparring, and then of course the fights is amplified times 10, so your sparring and your training need to be amplified as well. Challenge yourself. Put yourself in unordinary positions and get comfortable comfortable with being uncomfortable, alright? It's very, very important. It's a saying that we like to say in boxing, get comfortable with being uncomfortable, alright? You have to make sure that you are re ready for whatever comes to you in the boxing match. Be ready for whatever comes to you in the boxing ring. Train yourself hard. Train yourself really, really hard. Stay disciplined. Make sure your nutrition is on point. Put the miles in. All right. And again, make sure we mentally, mentally prepared at all times. Stay mentally strong at all times. Okay. You have to always remember this sport is not built for the weak. All right. So you go in there strong and you leave out even stronger. You got me? 
challenge yourself, all right? Whether it's regular life or in the boxing ring, I promise you it will translate. All right, y'all, and for tip number four, it's loosen up, all right? Don't be tight with your boxing. Most people get in that boxing and they want to hurt something so bad. Loosen up. Once you loose, you create speed that way, all right? Make sure that you are loose because also it allows your thinking to be quick as well. When you're tight, you're wasting energy, all right? You're wasting power, and you can't be as fast as you need to be. So make sure you loosen up. Make sure you are sharp in the mind like we went over with in tip number two. All right? So remember that. Always keep that in mind when you're boxing, okay? Stay loose. Stay relaxed. And let's have some fun, all right? Speaking of fun, we're on to tip number five. All right, y'all. So for the final and the last tip, the most important tip, the one that's been forgotten about probably the most, you know, because once we get into boxing, we just think about the knockouts and hurting people or just, you know, trying to be good at it or just trying to learn the sport. But the most important tip is have fun, man. All right. With anything that you're doing, anything that you're doing, I believe you should have fun. It's going to make it much better. It'll make you better. It'll make the situation better. It'll make the experience better. All right. Again, it's going to be times where you want to give up. It's going to be times where it's going to be frustrating. It's going to be times where it's super, super hard. All right. But remember, have fun in the process. Enjoy the process. Enjoy what you're doing. Um, enjoy, the, enjoy the learning of it, all right? And really, really have fun in it. Watch other boxers, all right? Watch people like Andre Ward, Floyd Mayweather, all right? People of those nature, Errol Spence. And watch how they have fun. Tank Davis. Watch how they have fun in the ring. That's why they're so exciting to watch, all right? So after all, after all those tips I gave you, this is the most important one, I believe, um, besides the tip number one, but having fun because I think this is the, probably one of the most forgotten ones that uh, most boxes, especially in the beginning, because we're just trying to learn it and want to get better so bad that we forget to do. All right, so at the very least, if you don't take anything else that I gave you or any of those tips that I gave you, make sure you take this last tip with you. All right, have some fun, learn, make sure you apply, and then make sure you have fun at the end. All right, I'll see y'all on the next one.